It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'll be talking about the top five epic fails for Joe Biden. In my last video, I talked about the top five epic fails for Donald Trump. So, in a strange, weird way, I'm actually an equal opportunity hater. So yes, I am not a fan of any type of politician. So, without further hesitation, let us begin. The first thing on my mind when it comes down to Joe Biden is the fact that he's a massive, massive racist. You guys are probably thinking, well, geez, the far left used the word racist as some sort of dynamite against those that they actually oppose. And for the most part, that is true. However, when I say the word racist, I literally mean the comments were actually prejudiced against a group of people, not just throughout his campaign, but also in the past. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. Cause it's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump. And by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You go to Florida, you find a very different attitude about immigration in certain places than you do when you're, when you're in Arizona. It is just so bad, really, really bad, that throughout the years, and also his campaign, how much Joe Biden just talked down on African Americans. It is so polarizing to run as president to attack a minority of people it doesn't matter if he's old or whatever. You cannot tell people, well, hey, if you vote a different way than I do, you must be not black or something. Oh, oh my God, look at those criminals on the streets. You must be some sort of super predator. Those comments to me are discouraging. They're outright outrageous. And I just cannot believe that anybody else who were gonna criticize Donald Trump for something similar, they will do it. But for some strange reason, I've never seen the mainstream media ever criticize like Biden for those comments. Ever. The second thing that's on my mind is how Joe Biden wants to ban the sale of firearms on the internet. Now guys, I never ever talk about guns. And the main reason why I never talk about guns is because I feel that I'm not really informed enough to make an opinion about guns. And also, I'm not sure if we need more gun control or less gun control or whatever. All I know is that the violence actually has to stop. However, one thing that really concerned me when I saw like the whole entire outline of the stuff that Joe Biden wants to do is how he wants to ban the sales of firearms online. And the online sales of firearms and ammunition Biden will enact legislation to prohibit all online sales of firearms, ammunition, kits, and gun parts. Maybe it's me, but that right there seems like a direct attack against the Second Amendment. Now, the Second Amendment is there to guarantee people across this country to have access to firearms. And of course, detailers and retailers can sell the guns to the people through background checks and also so on. And then it can sell the gun to the person after they're qualified. And it's the same as I process on the internet. They don't just sell guns on the internet without any sort of background check. You need to get like a background check to actually get the gun. So to me, why would you want to ban the sale of guns online when you have the exact same process like everybody else in brick and mortar stores. The third epic fail from Joe Biden is how he supports the idea of equality of outcomes and not equality of opportunities. As we all know, the idea of equality of opportunity is the idea that people should work hard and have the equal chance to, of course, work hard to achieve their goals like everybody else. Whereas equality of outcomes 
It is literally quotas, like basically trying to hire people just because they're a certain skin color. Now, I saw this video, and I shit you not, of his running mate, like uh, Harris. She wants to actually make sure that everybody else is on the same playing field. So there's a big difference between equality and equity. Equality suggests, oh, everyone should get the same amount. The problem with that, not everybody's starting out from the same place. So if we're all getting the same amount, but you started out back there and I started out over here, we could get the same amount, but you're still going to be that far back behind me. It's about giving people the resources and the support they need so that everyone can be on equal footing and then compete on equal footing. Equitable treatment means we all end up at the same place. This whole entire idea is really bad. It's just super bad. For starters, more people nowadays would probably think, well, hey, this black person right there probably got a job because he's black or whatever. Not only that, but also I feel as though through hard work and determination that people should actually get the job based entirely off their merit. If we were to apply equality of outcomes, for example, Basically, you're trying to say that everybody should get the same job, that everybody should get the same salary. Well, yeah, it's true. Everybody should get the same starting salary. But you're trying to say that we should all pay everybody equally, that everybody should get X equally and so on. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Because people actually have different entrants. Like, not every single person wants to be in the high up. It's largely on individual decisions, and so sometimes a group of people or an individual have different interests depending on their skill sets. And also, it's really hard to make sure that everybody have equal income because people have different schedules, different lifestyles, and so having everybody get the exact same sort of amount of money, that's literally impossible. And not only that, Joe Biden and Harris, they want to have some sort of equality commission to make all of this actually happen. And that is crazy. That is just really, really crazy, man. The fourth thing, of course, is that Joe Biden does not actually condemn anti-fall in the slightest. During the debate that was happening with Donald Trump, he did not outright condemn Antifa. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right his wing own, problem. This is, this is a left wing. This is a left wing problem. White supremacist. Antifa is an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not malicious. That's what oh, his an idea. FBI, his okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, how could he possibly say that Antifa is not some sort of organization at all? Because we know that Antifa have their own flag, they have their own uniform, they have their own symbol, they have these sort of groups across the countries, they organize these sort of events to attack people, to destroy buildings, they're definitely organized or a chain of organizations working together to actually destroy businesses and hurt people and attack them. So obviously, it is very coordinated Antifa. Also, it's just so bizarre. He has not once condemned Antifa from what I've seen so far throughout this whole entire campaign that he's doing. And so, it's just so bizarre considering everything going on for the last few months, just nonstop violence against, like, of course, business owners and so on, that not a single Democrat that I've seen so far had actually condemned Antifa. And it's not just Joe Biden either. The fifth and final thing is that the dude is a humongous plagiarist. Like, no joke, I do not trust a single word that comes out of his mouth that's probably not plagiarized because basically, this clip right here just demonstrates how much plagiarized stuff he actually did for this one speech. He died. He reminded me of it. I don't feel no ways tired. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. He did not leave us. 
We are not tired. The road hasn't been easy. But we've come too far to stop now. I don't feel no ways tired. I've gone too far. From where I started from, nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. And we know, we know, we know if we finish this march, what awaits us. Why should we trust a person who clearly, clearly is not original at all when it comes down to his speech? If you plagiarize freaking Clinton's speech, what else could he possibly have plagiarized? Like, it makes me so curious just how much stuff he actually stole. Anyway, that's the top five epic fails for Joe Biden. And what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.